there and welcome to another museum morning. My name is Shireen and I am a learning officer at the Jewish Museum London and I am delighted to be hosting today's museum morning. Now for those of you who do not know, museum mornings are an opportunity for children and their families to gather together and learn something new about the Jewish Museum London and this is always followed by a fun family activity. So let's get started. This month at the Jewish Museum London, we have been thinking about the theme of hope. What gives us hope? Now for me, there's no better feeling than going outside in nature, looking at the beauty of the trees and flowers. That really does give me hope. And there is no better time to explore the beauty of nature than this week. For on Wednesday, Wednesday evening I should say, many Jewish people all around the world were celebrating nature and specifically trees, for it was the festival Tuba Shabbat. Now Tuba Shabbat is a festival all to do with trees. It actually celebrates the birthday of the trees or the anniversary of the first lot of trees and it happens every single year around this time. Now in celebration of Tuba Shabbat, many Jewish families would get together and eat tasty fruit, specifically fruit that we see in the Bible. Maybe grapes or figs or even pomegranates. What's your favourite fruit? Hmm. Why not share with the people who are around you? Now also on Tuba Shabbat, many people will go out in nature and explore and celebrate the beauty of trees. Now today, I am going to encourage all of us to do the same in our family activity. But before we get started creating our family activity, First of all, let's explore an object in the collection at the Jewish Museum London, which highlights the beauty of nature in a bit more detail. Now, at the Jewish Museum London, we have over 40,000 objects. And the object that really spoke to me was this here. Now this is a beautiful etching or drawing. It is of Warlitz Park and to the left we see a building. And that building is a synagogue, the Dessau Synagogue. This is in Germany. Now before I tell you much more about this art, perhaps we can stop and think about what you can see. What do you notice when you explore this beautiful piece of art? Hmm, who do you see? What do you see? Now I see the moon and I see beautiful clouds surrounding the moon. Of course, I see the synagogue on a hill and I see two men in a boat and they're pointing towards the beautiful park and the trees that stand so tall. Perhaps they're about to explore. Now this drawing was drawn many, many years ago, but this is what the park and the synagogue looks like today. Still very beautiful. Now for our family activity, just like those two men in the boat, I am going to encourage us to explore nature. In preparation for the art, the nature or tree art that we are going to create. So there are a few steps before we can get started creating. Step number one. We need to go and find a green space. Wrap up warm and go perhaps to your park, a garden, or do you know of any trees around your local neighborhood? That will do as well. Now, take time and be present and look at the beauty of the tree and the green space that you see. And then once you've done that, the next thing is to find some leaves. So here are some leaves that I found on my nature walk. There are beautiful leaves grown on the tree, 
but also there were many dead leaves on the floor. Now once you find your leaves, I then want you to collect some of the leaves. You can see here that I've collected some of these dead leaves. Now I say dead leaves are best because we don't really want to pick the leaves of the tree. So if you see any fallen leaves, they will work well as well. Now once you have collected all of your leaves, I'd say about five or six, but you could have more or less, then bring them back to your home. And then it is time to create. And this is what we are going to create today. Our very own nature or tree art that we can give to our family and friends in celebration of Tuba Shabbat, the festival of trees. Now I'll stop sharing my screen so you can see me in a bit more detail. Now, what will you need for this activity? Firstly, you will need a piece of paper. Secondly, you will need, of course, your dry leaves. Thirdly, you will need mm, some paints, or you can use colouring pencils or felt tips and colouring pens, whatever you'd rather. And then you might need some blue tag. Blue tag is very, very useful. Now, what do we do? First of all, we want to get our dry leaves and we want to blue tag them onto the paper. Now, these are leaves that I've already used, hence why we can see the paint. But we want to stick our leaves onto the paper. Now, once we've stuck our leaves on the paper, we want to get some paint. Here you can see I've got some blue paint. And we are going to begin oops, to paint over our leaves. Okay. Now that gives you an example, but by the end of your painting, you want the whole page covered, okay? And then you're simply going to leave your art to dry. Leave it to dry for a few hours, especially of course if you're using paint. If you're colouring it over it with colouring pens, you don't have to really wait, do you? But if you're painting your leaves and your art, then leave it to dry for a few hours. Now once your art has dried, then you need to peel off the leaves. And you will be left with beautiful artwork that looks just like this. Now here you could see I've used green and gold and I decided to draw the veins of the leaf onto this piece of art. On this one here, I used multicolors, pinks and blues and yellows. And I decided to leave the inside of the leaves empty in this one. But you can do it however you please. And that is how you create your beautiful artwork in celebration of the birthday of the trees, Tuba Shabbat. Now feel free to share your artwork with your family and friends. I'm sure they'd love to see it. And also feel free to share your artwork with us at the Jewish Museum London. If you choose to post it on social media, of course, with an adult's permission, then tag us at Jewish Museum London, and that is Jewish Museum LDN. And we'd love to take a look at your beautiful creation. Now, although Tuba Shabbat was a few days, um, a few days ago, I will still wish you a happy Tuba Shabbat. And I hope you really, really enjoy taking some time out in nature and creating something. Thank you all so much for joining me today and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.